Brandon Sellers of the Sellers Law Firm, and I hope you're having a great day. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the historical perspective of bankruptcy, and it goes all the way back to our Continental Congress, and they were on the verge of bankruptcy, and had it not been for France and a financier named Robert Morris, uh, the country would have been bankrupt, and who knows how history would have turned out. Also, in 1933, President Roosevelt declared the United States bankrupt, and this was ratified by Congress on June 5th of 1933, because we're in the middle of Great Depression. You know, catastrophic things happen to people, to businesses, and apparently to even countries. We've had numerous presidents either file bankruptcy or be on the verge of bankruptcy. Of course, it's common knowledge that uh, President Trump has filed, or his businesses have filed three or four times, Abraham Lincoln had a business. Before he became an attorney, he was a store owner, and then he had to file a bankruptcy. Uh, Ulysses S. Grant, his partner, absconded with all of their investments and the investments of other Civil War veterans, and it forced him into a bankruptcy. Even Thomas Jefferson, this one really surprised me when I did the research this morning, Thomas Jefferson had to file bankruptcies. And finally, at the end of his life, he was at the verge of bankruptcy, and he came up with a plan to do a lottery in which he would make the grand prize his home and it was approved by the Virginia legislature so it's not uncommon when you look at people from our historical or our history and even our country that have filed bankruptcy and I'm not talking about celebrities and athletes who've blown their money uh, you may say like Michael Vick or Mike Tyson or Kurt Schilling Nicolas Cage buying you know islands and castles in Europe uh, even 50 Cent uh, do, uh, having to file bankruptcy. But we've also had people like Mark Twain and singers like Isaac Hayes. And there is no cloud. There should be no shadow on you for filing a bank bankruptcy. There are catastrophic events that occur in people's lives. It's not just overspending because that's generally not what we deal with. What we deal with are people who've had um, massive medical bills. That's a huge one. And then they can't cope and they can't pay them off. Loss of job. You know, sometimes you can't help it. There are layoffs. There are things that happen. You lose your job, and all of a sudden, you're trying to keep your home. You're trying to keep your car. And a Chapter 13 bankruptcy is your only option. And finally, a big one, and maybe this is bigger than medical expenses, is divorce. Divorce can put people into a bankruptcy simply because you are living in one household with two incomes, and now you've gone to one household with one income. And it becomes very, very difficult. That is one of the biggest things. And you're already on an emotional roller coaster ride because you are getting divorced. There's a change in your lifestyle. There is a likely change in your children's lifestyles. Uh, they are going through the, uh, the same type of emotional roller coaster the parents are and where they're going to live and where they're going to be. And all of a sudden, you find yourself in a situation where you can't manage all of these creditors. So you're looking at trying to do a Chapter 13 debt consolidation or a chapter seven where you are just wanting that fresh start. Well, this morning I just thought I'd give you a little historical uh, perspective on the history of bankruptcy in the United States. It's not really a detail of the law. And if you want one of those, I can give you one of those, but I tell you what, it's kind of boring. But anyway, I hope y'all are having a great day. Make the most of this day and God bless you. And if we can help you at the Sellers Law Firm, give us a call at 334-LAWYERS. Thanks.